hello mother <laughs> hello father hello father and i'm probably not i never said it straight on my butt please so. take some mosquitoes really bother thanks for the package that's why i'm writing <laughs> <laughs> oh the biting this is on air with oh oh geez um i mean this is almost on air with erica and john Hello and welcome to another edition of the Almost On Air podcast in person. I'm That's John. That's right. And I'm Erica. And we're coming to you live from my home studio in my bedroom for the very first time Erica has ever seen. It. It. it, it that didn't make sense. But yes, this is my in, first time in your bedroom. Yeah. How does it? How is it, by the way? Did it meet expectations? How has my house been? My house of five men that live all together. What were your expectations and how did we live up to them? I expected it to be way dirtier. See, we get this every time. And it's pretty clean. It's not bad. I'm it's a large you. home. I'm envious because I only live in small apartments ever. So, um, well, yeah. it's yeah, we it's a five bedroom and we do have a pool and we pay probably half of what you pay living in L.A. So that's why yes. I do the commute all the way an hour away. So and I give you props because this is clearly at least attempted to be decorated. I would actually say your room now more so than I think it was before you got all of this behind us. Yeah. Is well decorated for a young man's room. <laughs> Wow. I don't ever want to call you a young man again. I, I, but. Mean, I do appreciate it. However, I do think that my room has slightly been more decorated as time progresses. And yeah. you haven't gotten the tour of everyone's rooms yet, just because I feel like it's weird to show you everyone's rooms. But you'll I think so too. You'll see that like, for example, my roommate Kyle, his room looks like a hotel. Like there's not a picture on any wall. It's like a made bed. <laughs> It's his desk, it's a dresser, and it's a TV on it. And he, like, doesn't decorate. That's, like, his thing. He wants it to be plain. He, It's, like, too much – it's too busy it's to too decorate. too much stimulation if it's yes. decorated. I, I mean, if you're really busy – like, in some of my apartments, I have not really decorated just because you also kind of do the, like, how long am I going to be here thing, like, all of that. Right. But in this next one, I'm going to be, like, super decorated. Yeah, see, I've always been the kind of person that I want to decorate my room just, like – everything like just like I want it to be you know what I mean I want to take everything that I love in life and I want to put it in my room because then when I walk into my room I see the things that make me happy yeah. but I think I know some people try not to decorate the room as much because that's their like unwind space right 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 you right. know they want to like come in there and kind of like disassociate from the rest of the world so like the more plain the better it's interesting though because I think that uh, and we're going to talk about my apartment hunt, but I'm looking for an apartment that will be my own. Like it will be just for me. And I've thought a lot about what I want it to look like. Nice. And it's like, I want it to be simple, but it needs to look like me because it's my space. I agree. And I'm, I'm the only one who's spending time in it for the month. Can I, mean, I make some suggestions? What? Glow the dark stars. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. I will say the way you have them right now, this uh -huh. is my first time seeing the stars in it's person. not bad. First of all, I'm horrified by this spider. Did That's we name still... him? I don't think we did. Yeah. This is your first time seeing my spider. Did. Oh my God. I hate him. I really do. I Why? wish that you would get rid of him. I feel like I, I love that it was one of the first things you noticed when you came in my room. Yeah. Within 60 seconds, you were like, oh my God, the spider. The spider. Um, however, the stars it's not bad. are done tastefully. Yeah. What's up? They aren't done as if it's a seven-year-old's room who needs a nightlight. Agreed. They are done around John's ceiling fan. Yes. I didn't put them across my entire ceiling, which is my question to you. Should I expand? Should I put them across the entire ceiling? I think I, you got to see it at night. How many more do you have? I do need to see it at night. How many? <laughs> how many more do you have? A bag. <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. Like I could I'm probably do the house. Oh, God. Okay, maybe not that many, but like pretty close. My theory is you should actually do constellations. I, You know what? That was a suggestion that has been made to me, and I just feel like it's, it's too hard. <laughs> I'm like, it would look cool. It would that look would, cool. That would be the only way I think you should expand. And then like I could be laying in bed with a girl one night, and I could be like pointing them out and pretend like I know the stars really well. Yeah, it's a bad something, idea. Yeah, <laughs> something about all of that was not good for me. Um, so my, my pride, my prized possession, though, is actually my hats that I put above my closet. Yes. Um, I found that on Pinterest. I put it's, a bunch of nails on the wall above my closet and I hung my hats in a line. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Uh, I also you. feel like they all represent things for you. Yeah, they like do. Like Kiss and your my favorite team one. and yeah, yeah. you love that brand. So that's my bedroom, ladies and gentlemen. It, that's John's it gets bedroom. the pass. I think my house and my room and everything that is in my living space gets way worse of a rap than it deserves. Probably. I think the only things I would change about this room okay. is that you would have hardwood floors. 
Oh, I hate hardwood floors. Not in a bedroom. I'm trying no, to No, but you do hardwood floors and then like kind of under the bed and around the bed is a rug. I had a room with hardwood floors and I hated it. It my feet felt gross. It was always dusty. It's not cozy. That feels like maybe that's a cleaning problem. Maybe, but I'm not trying to a... clean my floors every other day. Okay. You know? I would say you just need some wood floor showing and maybe not the bulletin board. You and don't like the bulletin board? I just don't think it's like grown up. I think it's it's functional, it's, uh, <laughs> but it's not grown up. <laughs> so you don't have an issue with my stars on my ceiling, but the bulletin board <laughs> no, is like the end I mean, of the world for you. We That's already you know that I have an issue with the stars on your ceiling, but like I'm more warm to them than I ever was. But not a bulletin board that clearly has more of a function. No, the bulletin board is a bit like, I'm in college and I'm going to give you my coupon. No, my bulletin board is, oh my God, I forgot to pay a ticket. I got to put it on my bulletin board so I know I paid it. That's what that is up there. But I beat that ticket and I keep it up there because I won against the city of Placentia. Uh, It's a reminder. Again, not my home. (laughs) Do whatever you want. But the only other thing is that you would have nightstands on both sides of the bed. Obviously, in this scenario, there's not the room for them. Yeah. So that makes sense. But technically, you could move. I mean, I have a dresser. It's like a giant's nightstand, you know? Right, but it's <laughs> but not. not. No giants like it, sleeping in this room. No, there's. I, am, I hope to be the tallest person in my bed, <laughs> aside from my roommates. <laughs> Are you the tallest roommate? <laughs> I am the second tallest. No, actually, no. Uh, Evan is our tallest roommate. I think he's six foot. Mm. Kyle and I are about the same height. He's probably a little bit taller, but then I'm I'm next after that. Okay. Well, I think I'm tied for a second. I'm glad that we figured that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, in your apartment hunt, how did yes. that go? Well, here's the thing. Actually, I need to tell you about my whole day. Okay. So um, I started the apartment hunt today. Um, I went and saw the first two. One canceled on me two days ago. So I was supposed to have four today. One canceled on me two days ago. It wasn't a big deal. I, it wasn't the one I was going to pick, I don't think. Another canceled on me 45 minutes before I was supposed to go see it. Nice. Uh, and I called them and was like, hey, any chance I could still come see it? And they were like, oh, it got rented. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm profesh. Very, but whatever. So then I was supposed to go see another, but this one, they had blown off. My old roommate was going to go look at it for me last week. Nice. Everything was set. She said, text me when she gets here. We did. No answer, no answer, no answer. It was so weird. And then she called me like 45 minutes later. I was like, I'm so sorry. I had my phone on airplane mode. Like, I'm so, so sorry. Whatever. But I still wanted to give her a chance. So then today, she was going to meet me at noon. And I texted her like, hey, we still good for noon? Because I don't want to go there and then not get shut up. And then she's like, yeah, yeah. My hubby is going to show you the apartment. And I was convinced Cute. that this was a plot to get me murdered or abducted. Or like they were going to they were gonna lure me into the apartment and then lock me in there and use me for ransom. So like, do you watch a lot of movies? <laughs> like, like Taken or? I'm not even that much of a of a horror film girl i just think that as a woman also as a woman who's about to live alone for the first time i'm definitely like more cautious right now yeah yeah. but as a woman in general you have to be aware of your surroundings so when you texted me about this no i called you you did call me you were very literally frantically called john like what do i do and i was like first of all i don't know why you were the first person i called i don't know either not much i can do no an hour and i was in the gym i was like i'm I'm straight up just not helpful i'm straight up not gonna be able to help you however the advice i gave you was just when you're going up if you're scared that it's a man and it's a plot to, right. and there are so many signs that it wasn't a plot to abduct you, which I'll go into in a minute. But I feel like if you were scared, just walk up on FaceTime and like pretend you're showing your friend the apartment. My mom's calling. Sorry, mom. Right. And just be like, oh, my friend's looking at this apartment with me. And that way you at least have someone on the phone with pictures. You know, you've sent the number of whoever totally. you're in contact with. I had texted back when she said my hubby is going to be showing it. Right. I texted back and said, okay, it's me and one other coming to see it. Because I didn't want – then I thought if she says, never mind, I actually can't do today, that was a <clears throat> reason. They were going to try to kill me. <laughs> um, she did not say that. She said, great, see you soon. So when I rolled up, I just said, oh, they got stuck in traffic. It's just me. Um, Turns out they're the nicest people I've ever met. Have you ever bought anything off of Craigslist? Hmm. I've done like Facebook Marketplace stuff. Nope. Craigslist. Craigslist exclusively? Probably not. See, uh, I figured <laughs> because I feel like buying things off Craigslist prepares you for these moments. It teaches you to do it wisely and to make sure that you're not getting scammed and that people aren't sketch because you know the signs to look for. I have bought many things off Craigslist in my day. I used to, in college, buy a lot of concert tickets from Craigslist. Yeah, that makes sense. And that is where you can get robbed or like sketch out. I'm not worried someone's right. going to kill me, but you can determine based on a number of factors, whether or not someone is sketch. And this has prepped me for this. Kind and of what thing. are the factors? 
So you said she has an iPhone, so that's good. Right, that is good. That's one okay. of the things that stuck out to me that she's probably okay. It's more, it's a sign in the right direction. Is okay. when you it's sent, not a burner phone. It's not a burner phone okay. because burner phone major yikes. If someone has an iPhone, you know they're registered to an iMessage email account. Huh. So it's more of a verified process. It's not just some number. Like they have okay. an iCloud account, and that helps. Okay. Right? So. I mean, it's a lot of so work. So what we're to saying is Anthony, of... who doesn't have an iPhone, sketch, 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 super sketch, so sketch. Yeah, I don't trust Android users. You no, know? yeah, they're like bad pictures. I don't get it. You know, it's like pff, I don't even want to go into that argument. Yeah, no, we don't have to do that today. But sketch, okay. When people sometimes would tell me when I'm buying tickets, sorry, I have an Android. Buy. I'll buy from someone else. I'm not even going to wow. take the risk because when you're buying tickets, I, okay, this happened to me one time. I bought a ticket to a festival in San Diego, and I went with all of my friends, and I bought off Craigslist, and we all found it on Craigslist because it was sold out. We got to the gate. Everyone got let in, but my ticket was fake. No. And I literally had to buy another ticket for like 200 and something dollars at the door to meet my friends inside. Otherwise, there was nothing for me to do. Oh, that So I like sucks. got robbed 500 total dollars yep. because the dude was sketch. And I, aside from that time, I've never been actually ripped off because I feel like I know the signs. Okay. So what are these other signs? So Android. That's definitely one of them. Sometimes, I mean, this doesn't really help in your scenario, but you can like ask for a picture of their ID. And sometimes that's like a trust thing because sometimes they don't want to send it to you because they don't trust you either. Sure. So like I think you can base it off of how they are in conversation too. A lot right. of strangers are kind of short and I feel like if you want someone to trust you, maybe I'm giving advice to the murderers here. Right. But I feel like you got to go. I don't think we have murderers who listen to us. I hope not. Yeah. Um, but I think you need to go out of your way a little bit to show them that you're friendly. You know, I'll put some smiley faces. Okay. I'll put some like. I don't know, some sayings that I would say in normal talk so you realize that I'm talking in like slang and I'm not trying to be super profesh, you know? I just feel I like was trying to be professional because I'm trying to rent this apartment. True, and you kind of have to be, I guess. But she, when she had accidentally blown off my old roommate, she did like, the conversation was like funny. Yeah. So I should have just gone with it. I just, what I when I met she and her husband, she ended up meeting me as well. Yeah. Uh, I realized I was being ridiculous. Yeah, and you were being ridiculous, and I told you that. However... I told you also, every girl who's ever gotten kidnapped also thinks she's not going to get kidnapped. <laughs> so, yes. So it's like, so what am I going to do? Know? Just like take the chance or yeah. whatever. Uh, in uh, most cases, though, like you're going to be fine. Right. You just got to do your, your your backup due diligence. Like once you, you told had me, their number, you sent it to me. That's good. You had your location on. Yeah. Once you told me the FaceTime thing, I was like, OK, I feel good because I knew I could have FaceTimed you. And then my friend Tammy was ready for me yeah. to FaceTime her. And then I didn't. She was like, are you OK? And I was like, yes, yeah, sorry. So if he tries to abduct you and you're on FaceTime. How does that help? He's dumb. <laughs> My friend sees you. <laughs> yeah. Or like they already have your address. Like, you know. Yeah. But do um, you? I don't know how much help I could be. Yeah. But that's not the point. I just, I need to tell you about the other part of my day. Uh, this is okay. I'm pumped. So I like, I'm here in LA, obviously. And I woke up and I was staying with Sisney and I was having this great day. And then Sisney I was like. Sisney from the On Air with Ryan Seacrest show? Yes. Yeah, Sisney from On Air with Ryan Seacrest. So I was hanging Sisney with her kids. But I had not been feeling awesome. <laughs> so does this mean hungover no okay does this mean girl time of the month no but something in that region <laughs> okay so i ended up in urgent care today what <laughs> because, because this is this is i want to make one thing clear you do not only get these from having intercourse it's a uti yes we just talked about this we last week literally Li like okay my phone is echoing over there <laughs> everything's fine i don't think we'll hear it um I wait have you been on any dates this week not related no 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 it's not from that <laughs> it's i think it's from when we stayed in the hot tub for like six hours With the other night Carly, anthony ricky and jake yes, yes well yeah and jake was a floating head so anyway we were all in palm springs no we weren't <laughs> Scottsdale, we were all in Scottsdale last weekend, as you guys know. We'll get into more of that trip. But basically, especially as women, if you stay in the pool for like way, way, way too much time, you can have an issue. And this week I had noticed it. And then I was like, whatever, I'm fine. And then this morning I woke up and I was like, I have to go to urgent care. So I went to urgent care today. So is that the proper response to a UTI, urgent care? It's like, can't you just make a doctor's appointment? Sure. Or it takes too long. You could, but if they're like, oh, we can see you on Monday, that's not going to, you're going to be very sick by the time. Oh, so what happens if you don't treat a UTI? You can get a kidney infection and that's Whoa. way more serious. <laughs> yeah. yeah I've had good. a kidney infection before and it's really bad. Not good. Um, so anyway, I went, that's not even the point of the story. I just had to disclaim that I was 
at Urgent Care when this happened. That is funny because on that stream last week, our entire group were, were talking about UTI. Yes. That's hilarious. So I know it's almost like I was just doomed. I think you manifested it. Yeah. Manifested it. Manif- yeah. Manif- Manifest. I'm not going to try to say manifest Manifested. again. Anyway. Manifested. Um, <laughs> that's what that is. But so I'm sitting in there and I'm like, hey, here's what's going on. And they're like, cool, we'll be right with you. Like, you're next. Amazing. Because I had apartments to go see. Like, I did not have time for this today. Right. Um, and then a man walks in and he has a towel wrapped around his arm and he says, my arm went through a window. Wow. And I'm like, look, your arm didn't go through a window. You clearly punched a window. Mm, Is that not the same thing though? No, it is. But, (laughs) but him being like, my arm went through a window is like, how do you know? Right. So he comes in, says that, and they're like, okay, let me get like the actual doctor, see if he can stitch you up. Or if not, you're going to have to go to the emergency room. Right. My thought was, why go to urgent care? I think that if your entire arm is bleeding and messed up, you go to ER. urgent or the ER. Yeah. yeah. Hundo P. But whatever. And then like some girl walks in, right? I'm assuming like his girlfriend or wife, whatever. She seemed annoyed. So I was like, something happened here that like he got pissed off and punched a window or something. Did he look like he had anger issues? I honestly didn't stare too much because I was like the whole thing. I didn't want to accidentally see his arm and, and me get queasy. Oh, um, yeah, so yeah. there was one other girl in urgent care with me and we looked at each other like, oh, God. I feel like when it comes to accidents like that, I can't help but look. Oh, no, 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 no. I could not look. Like, I'm like, oh, and then like you're peeking through your fingers a little bit, you know? Right. I want to no, see it. No, I did not want to see it. I was like, I will pay- I will ruin my own day if I see this man's torn up arm. In the long run, they actually said they could have easily stitched him up. Um, but he didn't have the right insurance for that urgent care. So they sent him to the ER and then the doctor actually like let him go and then ran out after him. And I could hear him saying like, I promise you, you'll be fine. It's not that it's that bad. It's just the insurance. So wow, that man will be fine. But someone walking in like, I'm sorry, how is there any scenario that your arm goes through a window that you didn't punch the window? Yeah, many. So many. Uh, Tell me. Could trip and fall. So one thing you'll learn. I feel like he would have said, I fell through a window. What if you're taking a shower and you slip? Well, so one thing you'll notice about my house. Okay, then you would, <laughs> it's not a window. You would say. That's true. I fell through the shower glass. What if you fell through the shower window? Some showers have windows. You'd say, I fell in the shower and my arm went through a window. I don't think you just say, like, my arm went through a window. Like, your arm went through a window because you you put your arm I in a window. Know, I can't trust him, you know? I can't trust him. <sighs> Whatever. You don't know that his arm wasn't accidentally shoved through a window. What if it's his wife or a girlfriend? What if she's the vicious, angry one and she pushed him into a window? Sexist. You're not <laughs> wrong. I could be blaming the wrong I'm person. I'm just saying we don't have enough information on the matter. What were you about to say about your house? Oh, I was going to say one thing you'll learn. I don't know if you're going to shower here. Um, I'm here till Sunday. Oh, so you're going to shower. So yeah. you're going to learn this. Um, and so is everyone else right now. Um, our shower only has one shower door. Oh, because I know at a party someone fell yeah, into it. Yeah, a party last, I think it was literally like, Mm, I don't know. Sometime last year, we had a couple of friends over, and this one girl was slightly intoxicated and fell when she was getting off of the toilet and <laughs> went through our shower door. Was she okay? She was fine. She, okay. was, she was a little bit cut up. She ended up being fine. No stitches or anything. But our shower door, mm, not so fine. And we haven't gotten a new one because apparently our shower door needs to be custom ordered because it's not no. one of the normal sizes. So we've been to Home Depot twice, and it just like hasn't worked out. So. We shower with one shower door and it's very cold, especially in the winter, which is like the worst. You know, when you're taking like a hot shower in like January and you're scared to open the door because it's so steamy in the shower. Yeah. Nope. Never. It's just cold the entire shower. You're standing under the water. I guess. Anyway, you'll learn. Really looking forward to showering here now. (laughs) Um, So yeah, that was that. That's been my day. So I told John, I was like, I was supposed to have this like chill day. Go look at apartments. No, it turned into like, I got to do work. I got to get to urgent care. I got to get to apartments. I got to go by the office. Like, well, you're here. I'm Uh, here. And kick back, drink some alcohol. And I'll tell you right out what we're we're drinking. Um, And I'll tell you how to get some free drinks as well. When we get into our free beer. I liked beer. I still like beer. Welcome to another edition of free beer, but we have just, I feel like every time we do free beer, we like top the last one that we did. I yeah? think so too. And also I know nothing about this free beer. Oh, nice. I looked so. it up. Uh, this, this free beer is going to be free beer for the most amount of people than we've ever talked about. And I feel like we said that last time, but this one's even better than that. Okay. So first of all, I would just like to say that we're drinking some specialty cocktails from our house. 
Um, one Cheers of the drinks you. that we enjoyed last weekend was this is not related to free beer. No. Was vodka water. And that's all thanks to there we go. <laughs> Yep. That's all thanks to Carla Marie. Uh, Carla Marie introduced us to this vodka water drink. And this is like my new go-to drink. So it's vodka oh. um, about mm, almost halfway through the cup. And this is with ice. The so it's like about a four. Track. But it's about halfway with ice. And then you fill the rest with literally water, like actual H2O. Uh, and then you take t- like two to three lemon peels. Pe- lemon slices. Wedges. Wedges. Slices works too. Okay. Slice wedges. And you squeeze the lemon juice into the vodka water and it's the best drink you're hydrating yourself you're getting less hungover and i found those and i also opened a drawer that i had not opened in a long time in my house and found these cool little twisty umbrella straws so i feel like we have a very inviting cocktail here we do have an inviting cocktail here and uh by the way like we did not get hungover last weekend no, because of the vodka waters not once we drank the entire weekend i did not i was not hungover one day you were tired on mon- tired on Monday. You were very tired. But I think it was a collection of, you know. We had a lot happening. And I think um, we were drinking um, 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 like Kinder Lights and what? Oh, that was my keyboard. Earth? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Okay. Um, we were drinking Kinder Light and. Um, I have no idea where you're going. Liquid IVs yeah. all weekend. <laughs> we were eating the Seattle Gummy Company energy gummies all weekend i think that those saved us they for sure saved that was us. the entire fuel behind the weekend i mean they saved our drinking and they also saved my entire drive home and to scottsdale like, yes it, on my way home i was just so tired from the weekend i popped some of those Seattle i did not gummies. think you were gonna make it to be I, honest i probably wouldn't have so um those and then the amazing. other people i wanted to shout out while we're talking about vodka waters is uh seattle cocktail week clearly we are not seattle people but thanks no. to carla marie and anthony we get all the seattle Never stuff been to seattle. um <laughs> oh that is something that we have all Almost on to. air field trip. D- Done. Tell me when. Okay, great. I'm in. Um, we, yeah, Seattle Cocktail Week sent us alcohol. and Cocktail Club? Well, they have the club and the week. Nice. And I think it was technically the week that, and it's all the same company, but yep. technically the, the week that sent us the alcohol. Um, and we, you and I specifically, really took it down. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So thanks, guys. Back to the free beer. Yep. <laughs> so this week, uh, Anheuser Busch is going to be our sponsor. That's going to give millions of Americans free beer. Actually, two hundred thousand Americans. But we'll get to that in a minute. What? So all Americans, twenty-one and over, who are listening to this podcast. So That's most us. of you will be eligible for one free beer once seventy percent of all U.S. adults are vaccinated. Now you're probably wondering how many adults are vaccinated right hey, now. Hey, John, how many adults are vaccinated right 62.8. now? Sixty-two point eight. As percent? Of, as of two days so ago, we're percent. Close. So we're super close. So as of two days ago, 62.8% of Americans have been at least partially vaccinated. And we need to get to 70% for Anheuser Bush to give a lot of people some free beer. So I'm in. Now, here's the thing you got to be 21, obviously. Yeah. And you got to live in the US, right? Oh. And you only got to be partially vaccinated. So even if it's just your first shot. <laughs> 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 Even if it's just your first shirt, that's all good too. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! I'm never gonna recover. <laughs> Me neither. Even if it's just your first shot. Uh huh. Shot. S H O T. Then you're, then you're good. Yeah, you're all good. We we'll get some. Did we'll get you some see? Of the Sorry, I just poked him in the middle. That's why he got. Did you see this morning? Anthony tweeted that he and uh, Carla Marie got to the airport because they're going to a, a mutual <laughs> friend's wedding, and he tweeted, "Carla Marie just asked me, should I rip, should I rip a shit or eat breakfast?" And what she had actually said was, "Rip a shot or eat breakfast." But he accidentally tweeted. Rip a shit. Why are shot and shit so close? I don't know. <laughs> Why do I want to say make you both? feel like shit? Yeah, I don't hate that actually. Me either. It's too close. Um. So anyway, I forgot what I was. Free so, beer. <laughs> as long as you've gotten one shot, <laughs> we're eligible for this free beer. Okay. So once we get to seventy percent, this St. Louis based brewer will give away one free beer, seltzer, or non-alcoholic beverage to any American who wants one. So here's the cool part, okay? What's the cool part? Um, you don't got to be vaccinated to, to redeem the oh, prize for Oh, it's just if you're if America is 70% vaccinated. That's right. Anyone. That's so and annoying, it, though. Just get vaccinated. I don't think it's that annoying. I think it's kind of cool because this is good for people who do and don't want to get vaccinated. Let's say you don't want to get vaccinated. Let's say, let's just pretend 
you really are against vaccinations, right? You're yeah, an anti-vaxxer. Well, I have concern about that as it is. But let's say that's you, okay? Okay. You could get a free beer if 70% are vaccinated. So maybe reach out to someone you don't like and tell them to get vaccinated. Because so win-win scenario. You don't like them. You think you're doing them harm. They're probably mm. going to like help themselves from not getting COVID or from not getting very sick from COVID. And all of us get to enjoy free beer out of it. So I think this benefits everyone across the political spectrum. It benefits everyone, but like, just get the freaking shot. Yeah, I'm trying to get a free beer. So, yeah. what brands might be your next question? What Fall brands? Fallen Anheuser Busch. John, what brands? Oh, that's I'm just literally so glad you asked. Yeah. Let me tell you, Budweiser, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Michelob Ultra. Wait, yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. Because Anheuser Busch. I feel like it's pretty clear. Oh, Michelob Budweiser. Ultra. Your roommate literally just opened one. Yep, we got a whole pack in the fridge. Uh, cool. Stella Artois. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For you, the you. fancy beer drinkers. That's what my car's name. Uh, Natural Light Ooh, for all you college kids out there. That. And Bon Viv Hard Seltzer. Oh, Bon also, and Viv. That's okay. Bon and Viv. Okay. I don't know I'm if I've down with that. Yeah, me too. I want the seltzer. Uh, Natty Light. How Natty do we Ice redeem this? Also has seltzer. Do you just walk into a bar and say, I want that free beer? Well, that's like, that's the next best part. And this is the best free beer one because I feel like it's so easy to get. So all that you have to do is upload a picture of yourself. And in quotes, this is all they ask. In your favorite place to grab a beer, whether that's with Cute. friends at a local bar or... Or in the backyard with your family. That's adorable. Isn't that awesome? We could take this tonight. What's your... Well... Oh, oh, we could take the picture take tonight the picture. and then save it for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite place to get a drink? I was wondering that. I think where we're going tonight. The Bowery. I'm so excited because I'm getting to know spot. John's world. Yeah. Um, Cool. My favorite place is my dad's backyard. Nice. Well, you can take a picture there too. Yeah. And you just got to upload it to mycooler.com slash beer. That's M Y. C O O L E R dot com slash beer. And you don't got to prove that you're vaccinated because it doesn't matter if you're vaccinated. It just matters that 70% of America is vaccinated. Can you vaccinated. tell me why you said only 200,000 people are going to get this? Yeah. So that's the catch. Okay? Zess, zesses. That's the catch. So if you are one of the first 200,000 people, you are going to get a $5 credit, but you have to do it as soon as the nation reaches this threshold because it's only for the first 200,000 people okay. who submit. Once we hit that 70%. So you got to go to the website, mycooler.com, and you got to sign up to get notified. Okay? Oh, so they're going to get your email. Get your, it's so thing. smart. It's the whole thing. Yeah. You know? Or you can just be on top of your news, which like, I don't know who to trust. Cause when I Googled it, it says we're only like 50 something percent. Yeah. So, that's interesting. I don't know. I feel like you got to, you got to judge their facts cause this is their game. Sure. Playing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the problem though is <sighs> it's not for California. It never is. Not for uh, Texas and not for Alabama. So Californians, Texans, and Alabamans, Alabamians, Alabamites, not Alabama. Probably one of the first. We should, um, the th those three states, we should we should band together and figure out a way to all have a drink together. I even did. if we I found paid out. for it. This is how we're going to do it. You ready? Uh, okay. So when you go to this website and you register. We're just going to register under my grandparents' address. Yep. You put your name, <laughs> you put your email address, and then it asks for the zip code. And I just happened to look up the zip code for Scottsdale, Arizona. 85255? Sure. I put 85054. Yeah. There's <laughs> just, so many of them. Very, very many. But yeah. So you enter that zip code and they think you live in Arizona and you're going to get the free beer. You just got to be in another state to redeem it, which fine with me. Or maybe you don't. Maybe yeah. Maybe. Just send you the $5. Yeah. And then they're like, go for it. Are we outsmarting the system? Are we hacking the system? Are we rigging this? You heard it here first, people. I love this. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back. <laughs> And we're back. We are back. Did you miss us? Well, I didn't because I was here. Yeah. Dude, um, next to each other. I know. It's so weird. So dope. I think that we should talk a little bit more about our trip. We hit we hit the big things, which was um, new drinks. Yep. UTIs. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, last week, my mom texted me and said, I texted you this because you had already left or you were with me. I don't know. My mom texted me and said, we just listened to your podcast. We being she and my stepdad. Is there anything else we need to know other than you kissed a boy and it was like a sheet of white paper? <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Dina knew what you were talking about. <clears throat> no, she did not. Yeah, I didn't um, think so. No one did. Stupid no. expression. Right. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so now I feel like this week when she listens, she's like, why do you have UTI? And I'm like, not for that. But I feel like you've been living with your parents. Right. So, so she probably knows. She will know whether That's or not true. you've been on a date. Dina um, will be able to fact check. Guess it. what? It happened. 
it's a tundra. No, it's a vast desert out there. A vast desert. Yeah, a tundra is like a icy storm. I feel like I learned a lot about you on this trip. What did you learn about me? Mostly that I'm fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't think I'm fun? No, I do think you're fun. Wait, what did you learn? I think I've never seen you outside of a work setting, ever. Uh, one time, in front of my front yard, for like f- five minutes. For like an hour. Yeah. I don't under, so like, cool, okay, you've never seen me, but are you saying that I'm not fun Ouch. outside of a work setting? No, you, you, you are. Um... <laughs> what the heck are you going to no, 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 say? No, no, no. Hold on, hold You're on. so mean. I'm coming back. I'm not saying you're not fun. I'm saying... It's interesting to see the side of you that's not trying to be at least somewhat professional because you were in a work setting. For example, when we're all making breakfast downstairs and you come down in like sweats and in a, in a large t-shirt and like your hair's all over the place and you're just like, sup? <laughs> it's like a side you've not seen before. Okay, you know? that's fair. Also, to be fair, I come to work looking like a garbage can. I mean, you won't agree to that because you don't want to call me a garbage can, but I come to work, no makeup, leggings, like it's not professional. Yeah, but it's more than just a large, extra large t-shirt. And like my little shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. You know, like it's different. I know, but like I'm the same exact person. You are. I will say that. You are. It's just interesting, you know? Okay. It's, I feel like we're we're increasing our podcast co-host bond oh for sure yeah we're definitely better friends now definitely definitely. um and i I learned you're less irresponsible than i thought i'm less irresponsible so you're more responsible than i expected because thank you john i'm like sunday morning uh we did the live stream and it was like we were all getting ready like jake was making breakfast like i was figuring out what the girls were wearing and john and anthony were setting up stuff but then i found you i was walking around upstairs and i found you upstairs and you're flipping through a notebook and i'm like literally like we're live in like 30 minutes like what are you doing and you're like i'm going through for my ideas because i didn't give anthony an idea but like sure maybe you having not given an idea yet <laughs> makes you less responsible but you're like yeah no this is my notebook where i keep all the the things i don't the know ideas. why i'm so shocked that i have a notebook i just feel like you seem like someone who would be like yeah yeah that's a great <clears throat> idea and then forget it no offense um none i taken. think i do that but here's the thing none taken because i am that guy which is the reason i have a notebook. So I have a notebook and then I have the notes in my phone, which I regularly use. I have a lot of notes in my phone and I use them daily because I will forget anything that I am thinking about at any given second in the day if I don't write it down. Okay. So that's an interesting thing I learned about you though. I had no, I, I just figured you were a guy who'd be like, haha, that's a great idea. On to the next one. Nope. I write it down immediately. So you, do you use your notes in your phone for anything? Oh my God. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Um, my oldest note in my phone is a list of baby names, but they're very outdated. They're all very preppy and clearly from when I was living in Nashville. Can you remember any of them? Um, my favorite boy's name ever is Hudson. And I still really like that name. Hudson's good. But it's like Hudson and like Monroe and like, wow. Uh, I like the girl named Harper. I love Harper, but I don't think I could have Harper and Hudson. I think that's like a little like too much. Themed. Yeah. Um, I like the name Avery. I do think having a baby name list in your phone is a very girl thing to, to have. Or is it just like a cycle girl thing? Eh, I think it's pretty normal. Okay. That makes me feel Did better. you ever have a list of like all the guys you kissed? No. I knew a lot of girls in college that did that. I think at one point. <laughs> yes. Once This is the. the you gotta say it now. I know. It's, <laughs> it's the my mom kissed a boy white sheet of paper moment. But like I think at one point I knew exactly every like when it happened where it happened what his name was why because you remembered it or because you wrote it down no because i remembered it and because it was so few people (laughs) and now it's like you know sometimes you kiss a boy and you move on yeah i feel like it doesn't matter as much anymore no like your first kiss or whatever matters i mean i remember i've told the story of my first kiss on this podcast yeah taylor swift's birthday my sophomore year of high school no, I have like, so I have our podcast notes for like Wait, things. do you have a list of girls you've kissed? Absolutely Okay, not. that no would chance. have been amazing. No, my notes are like, so I have notes of topics that I would pitch for the On Air with Ryan Seacrest show, mm-hmm. if those ever come up. I have a note for our podcast of things we could talk about in our podcast or ideas that I might have. Cool. I have a to-do list of the day. Oh, nice. I have a to-do list of the month. Oh. If I have to like pay my car registration or whatever, things right. I need to make sure I don't forget. I have... I have a songwriting note that I just bust out once every couple of months. It's very sweet. Because like I play my piano a lot and sometimes I like have a night where I'm like, 
really feeling I'm something. Just, I'm just going to go uh, through my emotions. This is nice. Yeah. I'm like, well, I cannot forget that I just did this because like I nailed this, whatever this was that I just made right now. Do you remember? Write down. Do you make voice memos? Uh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh my Sometimes. God. That's so cute. Well, it's, it's rare, but it happens. I just don't want to forget. <sighs> beautiful creative no, moments i think that's that so I nice because um i would never ever ever record so i used to like occasionally dabble in writing songs on guitar i don't really play anymore but i i'm looking at a yeah, guitar, a guitar in concert right now you yeah yeah i can play i just don't think it's tuned um i will tune it but i don't think i have ever recorded one because i'm horrified by like the sound of it oh my god i do not have a good voice my voice memos are not to show anyone they're because they're for you to remember <laughs> this is for, to remember because i feel like and this is just the way my head works is like i have this like image in my mind that one day i'm going to be bffs with someone who can actually sing and, and then, then you're gonna have them sing your songs. Exactly. Exactly. I dig it. Like so someone. I'm, I have friends who can sing. If you want to borrow one, I, I, I have would. a lot. I mean, I lived in Nashville and like went to a music school. So I feel like my ideal situation would be to live with someone who loves to sing because I also love playing songs on the piano of like covers, you know, yeah. like things that people can sing. But I'm just like not a singer, so I don't sing them. So my best friend from call. I mean, best friend. Period. I'm her maid of honor this year. Um, she is a singer and she song wrote a lot in college and we'd live together and we would write songs together and we wrote some good ones. Isn't that awesome? Though? It was very cool. It was like a very good creative outlet for me that I'll never have again. It, that happens sometimes. I'll, I'll, I'll make something and I'll record even just the piano in the voice memo mm -hmm. and it will be like stuck in my head for days and I'll be like, that's this. I don't know what it is, but it's some, you it know, something. it's some. Yeah. I still get if Christine's listening to this, I still get restless stuck in my head. So, is that your song? What was it yeah, song? I it honestly I don't know. I can't even get into it. I'm thing. so jealous also, of silly. songwriters. Who, Me too. I like, can sing. I feel like that's got to be the coolest thing. It's got to be, especially when you hear someone else singing your song back like that. I literally think that's one of the coolest feelings in life. Probably, it's got to be. You know. Um. While we're on the topic of music. I actually want to talk about the new Spotify feature. Yes. Because, well, because I started, when we were thinking about songwriters, I started thinking about J.P. Sachs. And then I was like, oh my God, so uh, he has a new song out today. And then I was like, oh my God, Spotify told me I had a playlist based on him because I love him so much. I'm following. I'm following all of it. Yeah. So the new Spotify feature is called Only Me. Only You. Only You. Or Only Me. No, Only You. Only You. And it basically is saying like, we tracked your listening habits and these are the things that make you a unique listener, right? Right. Um, so my funny one was it was like, who would play Vampire Weekend after Selena Gomez? And I was like, honestly, like that's kind of a weird combo. This is like their middle of the year Spotify wrapped. Yeah. You know, it's like a little taste. It's a little taste of how your year's been so and far. And then it does. Did you get to the birth chart part? Yes. Okay, great. So yes. what was your weird combo though? So the birth. So oh, no, the not weird your birth. Combo. The weird combo. Like my Vampire Weekend and Selena Gomez. Oh, mine was no one would listen to like Maroon 5. And then I forgot what the other one No one would was. listen to Maroon 5. Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. So um, my favorite part about these things that Spotify does is as you're going through and it's telling you stuff about yourself and your listening habits mm -hmm. and all of that, there's always a background song to it. Yeah. And it's one of the songs that you listen to all the time. Right. And I don't know why, but like every time I hear a song that I know that I love in the background to it telling you me my seen. song, I feel so seen. I know like, you do. Spotify, you're right. I love this song. I love this song. Like you know, you, do you know. Do you remember who you picked as your dream dinner? I didn't pay that much attention to that. I do you had remember. to pick. I do, yeah. But I didn't pay much attention because that didn't tell me much. That's just me picking oh. artists. And I was like, eh. Mine was, so like of the options it gave me, I think it was telling because then I picked Dua Lipa, The Band mm. Camino, and J.P. Sachs. Nice. And I was like, what a fun dinner that would be. That would be. be a fun dinner. An amazing song about my life would come out of it. My So The Band Camino was my son, which is your top artist. Yes, okay. Um, my... Moon, which was my emotional artist, was this guy named Nick Wilson. I think I just showed you him. Yes. I'm obsessed with his voice. And for like anytime I'm even remotely in my feels, he takes me all the way there. Yep. Um, he's got like a cover of Ariana Grande's Into You. So I just and listened I, to it on my drive here. It's like it makes me forget that that's an Ariana Grande song. And I think my covers are my favorite when you can take a song and make it so different that you forget what the original song was. I totally get that. You know what I mean? What was your rising? My rising was Dominic Fike. Do you oh, know who that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. So cool. And the story of Dominic Fike is really cool. So do you remember the Britney documentary? Yes. So it, it, that was like on, I think it was New York Times. Was yeah, it, it was the New York Times, uh, whatever it was called, Britney. Right. Uh, what streaming service was that? Hulu. HBO, Hulu. Okay. Yeah. So the New York Times did a stream, uh, like a series of documentaries on Hulu. And the Britney Spears one was like the very first one or something. Yeah. It was the biggest one. Right. 
if you go deeper in there, like the eighth one or ever was the story of Dominic Fike, which is like this up and coming artist. And it was so big because normally you prove yourself and then record labels will give you a deal mm-hmm. based on how you've done. And then it's essentially like a loan you're paying them back and then you're under a record label, right? Yeah, the 360. Yes. So, but the interesting part with Dominic Fike was he had only put like demos out on SoundCloud and he had not actually gained any, like he'd not like a put out a real mastered song because he was in jail and oh. he got a record deal for like $3 million or it might've been more than that without ever having performed. Without wow. ever having doing a stu- and everyone's like, whoa, 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 this never happens. Like we've never seen a studio give you all that money with nothing to show for it yet. They're taking right. a huge chance on you. And now he's like got a song with Justin Bieber on Justin Bieber's new album. Very cool. And yes. I mean, he's doing super well. I think he's a super sick artist. But the story in that documentary was super cool to watch what that's like because he was like an artist who literally like just put some stuff on SoundCloud. He got sent to jail for whatever reason and it started blowing up while he was in jail. And by the that's time it got crazy. out, like record labels were all on him and he was like giving money to his friends and he's really trying to like help support his parents and stuff and it was a cool story i would check that it out a cool i will watch that that's really fascinating it was super interesting um my birth chart ones were my son is taylor swift are you shocked nope, are you shocked not even no a little bit um my son was taylor swift my what was the other one? Oh, your uh, emotional moon. my moon emotional was one. lennon stella have you listened nice. to that album yeah 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 early quarantine only parts of it oh early quarantine that album it was like i was so fucking lonely yeah. um and i listen to that album a lot and then my rising so my entire chart is very emotional <laughs> my rising is phoebe bridgers so like if i'm not okay that's why yeah you're still just always not okay i'm fine okay who believes her no one <laughs> no one um but i would really love to see your guys you know we got tagged in Oh, Ricky tagged us because our podcast came up in her yes. genres. So it was like, you know, it'll tell you like, oh, you go from comedy to uh, mine was you go from comedy to country pop to like indie electric pop or something. Yeah. And um, the comedy was My Day Friday. Yeah. Shout out Carla Marie and nice. Anthony. So, yeah. Uh, do you remember yours? Yeah. My comedy was our own podcast. <laughs> that is horribly embarrassing. Yeah, it kind of is. You know, I, I literally don't. I know. You listen every week and I, I try don't. I take notes and I put notes in our little notepad of things that can work better next time. It's, it's really me, dude. aspirational. So the second thing I don't know if you saw that Spotify is doing is they have a made for two playlist that they're testing in beta right now. Dude. Look, get how cool this is, okay? <laughs> I just went silent. I know, I know. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, yes, go because, ahead. So this came out with it, but it's only in beta, so not everyone has it. But some mm-hmm. people do, and you're you're allowed to test this feature. But essentially, you pick another Spotify user. And do you know okay. how you have your daily mixes? Yes. And like every day it refreshes, and it'll mm-hmm. like do it based on like different genres of music. Stuff you've been listening to, yeah. Right. So you can pick another Spotify user. So let's say I picked you, and we both went into a made-for-two playlist. Okay. Every day, it would update that playlist based on your favorite songs and my favorite songs and mix them in so every day we could get to know each other's music. That's adorable. How cute is that? When that becomes a whole thing, we should actually do that because I think we have similar tastes, but we can show each other new music. Yes, I completely agree. The Almost On Air Made For Two playlist. Made For Two. Um, That's really cool. I'm excited for that. Yeah, Spotify's got some like amazing features they're the they're why the do we best. love them why do we love them so they're much the best and they pay attention and they know they just understand <laughs> they us. just they <laughs> just want to they just want to know us okay should anyway, we do our last topic we should do our last topic okay. also just if you uh have any interesting stuff from your only only you only you feature please post it and tag us because i we love seeing these yeah so I, it helps me know who you are you know what i'm saying why did you say it like that who you are who we are Ew. <sighs> I feel like I felt phlegm coming up. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. We're so back. We're so back. So um, the last thing we want to talk about, and I think this is such an interesting concept because I did not think of it once when we were on our weekend with Same. our friends, the 20-somethings doing nothing podcast and the Carla Marie and Anthony show. Um, so a friend of mine who knows... <clears throat> of everyone because he's also in the radio world messaged me and said doesn't john have a girlfriend and i thought that's a strange message right like I like mean, whether you did I or did, so. you did you did so he was thinking of <clears throat> clearly he hasn't listened to our podcast in a while what's up sean yeah sean <laughs> um How dare you? anyway but <laughs> kidding 
he said that and like in my mind I was like what does that matter <clears throat> right. but I think being a single person it's easy for me to take on the stance of what does that matter but he was saying oh I just and I told him like no no not anymore um, and he was saying like oh I just didn't think that my girlfriend would have ever let me go on a trip like this right and I'm like Ricky's boyfriend didn't seem to care as far as we know he didn't care that she went on this trip with all of us right and I do think that's interesting because I do think there are two different kinds of relationships you know what I mean there's probably a hundred different kinds of relationships I mean, there are, but, but in okay this scenario there's sure. two different ways you could go so essentially like most of us are like single people you know and we're all right. staying, sleeping in a house together I mean in your house you know what I mean yeah and uh, if your significant other doesn't know all of the people that you're staying with true and some of them are single i i think there's at least some degree of natural worry you know now I've, i would put myself in those shoes of worry like i i do think i would be totally. like questioning it but maybe not like no you can't go i think it's fair to get nervous you know sure. what i mean but then it what comes into play is what you do with that and now there's i think there's got to be a level of trust and i think the most ideal relationship and like Everyone has their positives and negatives. Of course. I think the most ideal relationship, you'd be able to trust your partner and be like, I like have no doubts, you know, like if you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me. Right. Go do what you're going to do. But like, you're not going to like, I trust you, you know? Yeah. And I do feel like we were all, we're all aggressively like f friends. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yes, <laughs> clearly not. Yeah. Um, but. I will say though, <clears throat> it, in the moment when he asked me, I literally was like, who cares? It felt like a work trip. Right. Exactly. Like, like it was like a thing that we were actually doing to make money and to create content that we hardly made and <laughs> um, like do a live stream. And it, it was a bit of a work trip as much as it was not. It did feel like a work trip. I do think now in hindsight, the work trip that my ex went on was when he met the girl. Oh, that he was started cheating. Oh, on me all right. <laughs> so it's like it's like, how should I? That's yeah. But I mean, let's but if just... it was something like this, like this right. very specific group of people who create things together, I don't yeah. know if I would feel the same. I mean, the la if we're all trying to like start um, some cool content club, the last thing you want to do is like ruin all that, you know? Totally. Yeah. But, but secondly, let's let's just play devil's advocate for a minute. Sure. And let's say that that trip that your ex went on mm -hmm. a couple exes ago, let's say you stopped him from going on that trip. That would be weird. But let's say you did, okay. and he didn't meet girl that he talked to. Sure. Probably would have happened eventually anyway. In fact, you probably found out For sooner because that happened. certain. You know? For certain. So that's why I think you always need to let your significant other go on that trip, and you have to trust them, because if you are wrong, that's almost a good thing that you found out sooner. Gosh, what amazing insight you just gave. Thank you. That's all we have time You're for You're rarely today. so intelligent, but that <laughs> way... <laughs> <laughs> that was really intelligent Thank because you. I think that's so true. Like your partner's either going to cheat on you or they're not going to cheat not. on you. Boom. And like as much as you want to try and stop it, you're never actually going to because you're, you're just postponing it. it and you're stopping that instance. But if that's in them and they're going to cheat, they're just going to cheat another time. Holy crapola. You know? I feel wild about this. <laughs> like this has like changed my entire view on relationships. I, that's the way I've always felt. And I've like, there's nothing I can ever do other than be myself nothing. that will keep someone from cheating on that me or leaving me. The 100% truth. And I think you find yourself in a happier relationship once you come to terms with that. Am I about to be in a happy relationship? I <laughs> think that you are because you need to learn these things along the way because I'll, I'll be honest, like there was a time when I first started dating that of course I was jealous. Oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But like now I really don't get that jealous. And I think it's because like if you're going to meet some dude that you find a better connection with than sure. me, then, Go for then it. that's out there, you know, then you're gonna, and like, it's going to hurt and I'm going to get heartbroken, but I'm going to pick myself up from it. And right. I'm going to find someone who will never pick someone over me. Whoa. I also think, you know, you said when you started dating, you were jealous. I think that there also is like the recovery period from having been cheated on where it is really hard to trust people. You almost get more jealous because you're like, no, this is what happens. Like, I'm not trying no, like, to be. No, this is fact. Yes. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to be insecure. I've lived this. I've seen these signs. I've seen someone go on a trip where they've hooked up with someone. Like, how am I supposed to let it happen and be so oblivious when I know what that could lead to? You know? Yeah. It's hard. It's really interesting. I do think I'm over the, uh, the little. <laughs> What is wrong with me? I today? know where you're going. Now. <laughs> I'm over the like label of like girl who's been cheated on. Like I don't think that defines me anymore. I, um, nice, dude, let's go. And I uh, also, I think I'm uh, over my last breakup. You think so? I think so. Whoa. Yeah. 
I, I was driving home from the gym the other day and I thought, I just hope he's well. And that's all I hope. I think you're 93%. 93? What's yeah. the next seven? I don't know. Not thinking of him at all? I, I think, yeah. Hmm. No, you're, oh, I think. I I'm, think when you think you're over it, you're just about there. Oh, I'm almost there. Like I might have one more bad day. Right. Okay. Right. Like it, it's still not going to be s- smooth sailing forever, but. I think I would still be sad if I saw him like post like my loving girlfriend. Right. 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 Um, who posts that? Mm. Psychopaths. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, maybe people madly in love, which I. <laughs> oh my God. What's that like? <laughs> yeah. It was cool. Uh, I haven't been there in a long time. Um, interesting. Well, yeah, this was a revelation of my week. So I'm just going to, I guess, leave you with that. No, that's good. Because, yeah. you know, there are different types of people. And I've dated people that would both be uncomfortable with me going on a trip like we went on. Mm-hmm. And some people that wouldn't care, you know? What do you think you are? I'm a completely not care. So, like, if you had a girlfriend right now. Yeah. And she said, I'm going on a trip with three single dudes and two single girls. I'd be fine with it, but I'm also not going to be oblivious to super negative signs. You know, if that's a guy that's been hitting on her for sure. a while, you know what I mean? And okay. like been commenting on all her things with some hard eyes and stuff. And he happens well, to be on the trip and she like feeds into that banter a little bit. And like post photos of them being like touchy. And... Exactly. Like I'm, I'm not going to be dumb. Right. You know, but at the end of the day, I think if that's going on, then you still have other issues underneath sure. that are more at fault. Pro, more on the front line That's a that good you point. need to deal with. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that um, with Ricky and Jake, like since we were saying like Ricky has a boyfriend, I think uh, I don't want to be rude in any way to either of them, but like clearly they are not interested in yeah, each other. They've admitted on this podcast they're just simply not each other's cup of tea. Yes. So I, I feel like a lot of us are like that. Yeah. You know? so. Um. Well, there you have it. There you have that it. wraps up everything in my brain. Oh, but I do think I would have concern, but you just changed my life, so now I wouldn't. Wow. That's all it took? Last six minutes of this podcast changed your life? Time of death of Dude, Erica's see, concern. 5.53. 5 what? 5.35 <laughs> p.m. Oh, it's still Friday. Um, see how much we can get done when we're in person. I love this. I love this too. So, this is so great. Move back to LA, please, so we can I'm be next to each it. other and drink together. And I chugged more of my drink than you. so Nice. I can't wait to show you where I go out tonight. I know. I'm so excited. We'll have, obviously, more stories next podcast. Yep. Um, but for now, at almost on air, we'll try to post some this weekend. Yeah. Because we're going to be together tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. We at- should like stop by a coffee shop. Oh, you have to go soon. But we should like stop by a coffee shop and get some like videos cut. Okay. I could do that. We can do whatever. <laughs> but at almost on air on Instagram, <laughs> you can find our personal ones there. Uh, What else they got to do? Mm, tune in next week for another amazing, we probably not in person episode. No, we won't be. Or you could drive down. No. Okay. okay. Goodbye. <laughs>